It'll be like that, uh, that one piece of Camilla fan art of her sitting on the throne. But uh, I'll replace, like, the throne. I'll have the throne, but I'll re replace, like, Camilla with the spot for <laughs> the, the game cartridge itself. No, you just have, no, you have Camilla, then you make a tiny version for the, for the game, like, and put it right next to it. Or... Inner big ass axe. There'll be like a little slot where I could slide the cartridge into. Oh, that would be cool, actually. Oh, yeah. here's me over engineering something I don't even know if I'll be able to make. You better cut this out. I don't want anyone to take the ideas first. I call. Nah, this. I'm keeping it in. Listen. <laughs> and here we are. You just need to episode. patent it. You just need a patent. I'm trying patent to do an it. opening, Ian. Here we are in today's episode. Too bad, I'm telling you to patent the idea first. What idea? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're going to cut that out, otherwise this is going to sound really heckin' stupid. Uh, you're going to sound really heckin' stupid. Just Not like, me. Just Not like me. the opening that I'm trying to start with. And to, uh, what did we do in the last episode again? Uh, We're starting this. Ah. This hellhole. BP oil spill. And I don't like this place. Like, I actually do not... I did not like this place in the original, and I still don't like this place. Not for the black ooze. No, 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 no. It's just... Oh, is this that one famous... Is this one... The one iconic boss... Thing from... Yeah. These guys. Well, it's just more of like, oh, here's a swarm of enemies. Good luck. Do you remember that freaking BP oil spill in the the Mexico Gulf? Whoop. These guys remember. Now they don't. I remember when, like, Obama was making a, a live press conference talking about the, the BP oil spill... I remember, I don't know why, I was really excited to watch it. I was like, oh, what's he going to say? What's the big state of the union? And he just says, yeah, this is a big fucky wucky. We're going to fix it. But boiled out to like a 30-minute speech. I was like, I don't know why the heck I was so ready to watch that. It was just like, like I guess the hype around it. Like, oh, yeah, Obama's going to come up with a big old speech about the BP oil spill. It's, it's got to be important. What the shit? Oh, okay. Speaking of Obama. Obama? I don't know. Oh no! What the heck is happening in the the Flash CW show? Because I see that one out of context clip of a uh, Gorilla Grodd going back in time to assassinate Obama when what? he was a kid. <laughs> he just walks into Obama's room when he's a kid, and Gorilla Grodd's like, Barack Obama, you have to die. <laughs> Why Barack Obama specifically? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you... I just saw that one clip out of context, and like, okay, now I don't want to watch the show. I, cause like, I, the show the show has been asked for... No, I, I mean, like, I don't want to know what the context is behind it, because... Nothing I can think of will be funnier than the actual context. I want to leave, like, the mystery for myself as, as I, ask, I wonder, what the heck did Obama do to Gorilla Grodd? Yes, I will, I will say, okay, yes, fine, but I'm still going to say, no, you don't need to watch it. I, I like, the show's, from what I've heard, is actual ass. I was saying I'm not going to watch it. Okay, I'm... I'm focusing on two things here right now. I can't... I'm only processing one thing. Stop dying. Get better so you can multitask. Shut up. Speaking of The Flash, that's coming out. Oh, yeah, that's Yippee. that movie. Hey, honestly, I'm looking forward to the movie just for Michael Keaton, specifically. And that's kind of it. Like, that is just... That is pure... That he's just pure, like, okay, we're bringing this back, and it's just like, ooh, the first Batman I've act that I ever watched. I don't know, it just, to me, the Flashpoint movie just reeks of desperation from, like, DC Studios, like, please work, please work, we have to nostalgia the fans, because we don't know how to make good movies. Well, it's, 
right now it's more of like because James Gunn is now ha uh, has like the whole thing in in reigns and all that. Yeah. And honestly, the Flash movie to transition, going right into Flashpoint right away. Yeah, like using the Flash movie. Whoa, that's close. <gasps> what the? Oh. Like using the Flash to transition from the old D uh, DC Cinematic Universe to the new one. It's honestly like perfect. I understand. I it. mean, it makes sense, but at this point, I I think, just don't even bother. Just, it's all just a a sunk cost to me. Just, come, just start with something completely new and unrelated to the previous, and just let James Gunn take over. Also, yeah, Ezra Miller. That's yeah. Just, it's like, what happened? He seems like a completely normal guy, and then just out of nowhere, becomes public menace number one. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also, I'm also not gonna. Okay, I'm also gonna give him the Flashpoint movie smack because everyone else also says, yeah, this does look like a PS, like a PS3 cutscene. Wait, seriously? Just all the trailer footage. They, they do look like PlayStation cutscenes. Oops, sorry, Ashley. Whoops. What the fuck? Hey, calm down, you DC fan. I'm just stating opinions. Okay. Oh. I'm getting sick and tired of this fucking bullshit. Do you see why I hate this part? <laughs> Yeah, I could see that. It's a little bit on the frustrating side. But yeah, no, like, I understand. It's like James Gunn now has the reins for the cinematic universe. They're using this Flash movie, which was already in production, and it's like, it's convenient. It's like, alright, Flashpoint, let's, re let's reset the actual universe. Again, so it's like, alright, we already have this, let's do it. I'm still fucking pissed off that they canceled Batgirl. I'm still fucking pissed off about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Was that a movie or was that a show? It I was forget. a movie okay. straight to streaming service, but they're like, you know what? Eh, you know what? Cancel it. Can it. It's... We basically have all the footage and a lot of edit editing's done. Let's... You know what? Fuck it. We're canning it. Why? I swear. You could have just put it on streaming service and still made some money. Why did you have to can it? Uh, a cynical side of me thinks, oh, okay, it's just a giant tax write-off, or they're oh, just yeah, trying really right. hard to scrub everything and then put all their eggs into the Flashpoint and just pray it gets something in return. But it's also like, it, like the movie had Brendan Fraser in it. It's like, come on, why you gotta do him like that? Oh yeah, it did. Why you gotta hurt our boy like that? Just the entire DCEU was not planned, and it is kind of a mess. It's so much of a mess that it wasn't even called the DCEU internally. That was just the name like put onto it. Really? Yeah. It turns out the people at DC like didn't really have, didn't really have a name for it, and I think DCEU came from like news reporters or people like. Interviewing directors, that's where it actually came from, I think. Oh, that's a really close grenade. Oh, I forgot I was not in. Uh, I've done stupider in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, yes, I too also threw bomb flowers right at my own feet. Sorry, get down. I hate this. I fucking hate this. <laughs> I mean, this is like the one rough spot, right? After this, it's all just smooth sailing. 
Yeah, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. What? Oh, God. Oh, okay. It's another meatball. And they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. I can't take that Fuck. song. Fuck. I can't take that song. Seriously, because <laughs> I, I had a dream where uh, someone I knew was working at a subway, and they were like the only person working, and they just get swarmed with people coming in. And so they're just like crying on the ground in a field position, swinging back and forth, just muttering to themselves, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't <laughs> stop coming. Honestly, I felt like I've gone through that, too. Show your fucking head, bitch. <sighs> I'm not even done. There's more? There's more. Oh, no. There's this whole part. God, oh, fucking God. This reminds me of a, of a thing I saw. If someone took a picture of some lighters, like candle lighters, with a Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it had it had like it had like the slogan on it. It's like great for candles <laughs> on the Martha Stewart part, and then the Snoop Dogg part said like and more. <laughs> Don't ask what the more is, but I mean, there's more. I mean, didn't Snoop Dogg say that it's like oh yeah, Martha Stewart? Pretty fucking hot. Or that, that's basically. I know they like work together and like do or stuff together. Something. Ugh. Between Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, which one of them has been to jail more? Wait, what do you mean? Guess. I'm gonna say Martha Stewart. Yeah. She's been to jail more. Yeah. For what? Uh, that tax one, fraud? Yeah, one time for Wait, like, tax evasion. I think it was tax evasion. I forget. And uh, Snoop Dogg has, as of this recording, not ever been in jail, to my knowing. Huh. I mean, when your first name is Calvin. <laughs> I think the only time I've been afraid recently... Is dealing with the spaghetti men in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh yeah, well that's just the glue. That's hands. just natural. That's just natural, honestly. I remember. I hear screams, and I. I still remember back in the day when playing Breath of the Wild and the Guardians scared me, but I got over them, right? Yeah. But the Gand jobs, I don't know if I will. They're just on a whole different level of horror. I still like to think of just like, all right, we got the guardians. There's, they were scary, but then, and it's like, all right, then we get the spaghetti hands, and now it's like, I, I miss you so much, guardians. I miss you so much. I, I wish you I think were what back. Adds, I think what adds to the, like, what makes the the spaghetti men way scarier is that, well, first off, they turn the skies blood red. Oh yeah. And into the a mini uh, blood moon. And for the guardians, you can see them. You can brace yourselves. For once you get close, but no, the Gan jobs, no. Nah, they just come. They just spring out of the ground out of nowhere and just pounce on you. You can't prepare for it mentally. Remember, one one thing that I just think about the most when playing Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Is like okay, so I think we talked about this. It might be guess or theor like there's a theory that six years have gone by roughly yeah but the th but the thing is for me is like okay it's been six years do they seriously get rid of every single piece of shika like technology uh oh i mean i do also wonder what the heck happened to the guardians do they just do they just like Round them all up and then just throw them all into a giant pit and bury them. Yeah, it's like... Or just throw them all into the ocean, like the end of Transformers 2007. What, what did the, what the... Oh, I'm hearing that. Except there also, was... Uh, speaking oh, of shit. that... Yeah? 
Uh, doesn't uh, Transformers uh, Rise of the Beast come out this Friday? Yeah, as of this recording. It should be tomorrow. So right after our friend group goes to watch Spider-Verse, I'm probably going to hop into a theater again. Fuck! To watch no, 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 no. Ashley, you dumb fuck, get out of there! Mr. President, y your daughter is a dumbass. I can't help her. Fuck. Anyway, keep talking. Keep talking. Now that I realize, or like remember... Oh yeah, we're, we're out Fuck. to save the president's kid. Suddenly I just remember uh, the Obama kids. I'm just like... They are right around our age age group. Oh, they're exactly one year above. Okay, I took a screenshot. Wait, did you get a screenshot of that? What? <laughs> uh oh. Did they never teach you self defense, woman? H how can you be this helpless? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. You're, you're running for it. You're being somewhat useful. You're running for it. And now you're just gonna let them. You're gonna let these discount Voldemort slowly just <laughs> waltz over to you. Oh, nice shot. Shut up. <laughs> I think you're hitting the, the guardrails. I know this. Oh, please get me out of here. <laughs> Although speaking of Voldemort, uh. I was I at work. I listened to the entire uh, Super Carlin Brothers. What if Harry joined Slytherin series? That was, that was pretty uh, fascinating fanfic. And you know what? I dare say it. I liked it way more than the the canon than what uh, J.K. Rowling wrote. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Yeah, I think. The what if Harry joined Slytherin, I guess fanfic series. I think it was a better story than the than the OG. Really? Yeah, better setup, better better characters, things, interactions, and just there's another guy. I know this. Ashley, you dumb fuck, run for it. What the? <laughs> okay, that was a miss. The ending All right, fight. Alright, let's go, let's go. I don't care, I don't care. Let's just fuck. The ending fight was a little, I guess, contrived or just a bunch of no actuallying and just rules lawyering and just fighting on technicalities. But I guess so was the original, so I can't really give them smack for that. Ooh, water fountain. Let's take a dive. Nice, soothing ASMR water. You know what was like a genius play Fuck. during our uh, senior Disney trip to high school? Yeah. It was when one guy brought a Bluetooth speaker, and uh, I forget who suggested it, but we were like, let's just play river music, <laughs> like river sounds for 10 hours while we sleep. And they were like, actually, that's a great idea. So we did that. <laughs> Some of the best sleep I've ever had on a road trip. It's so funny on how our brains are like, oh, let's just put like rain or river like sounds in the background while we sleep. And then you just end up having like the best sleep of your life. Yeah, that was genuinely surprising. I didn't think it would work that well. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. This is oh, what it's shit, like. This to, works. It's like human engineering. Anyway, now I can actually do some commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for once. What are you fucking saying? For what? I can't make commentary. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> Ashley, you dumb bitch. We're having a moment. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Hopefully I can now actually talk. How many times have I dissed Ashley this entire Let's Play? Uh, I probably over 50 times now. <laughs> Actually, that's a bit much. Probably over 25. But why do you hate her so much? She's not terrible. 
No, she is. What a useless sack of... Okay. Ashley. What now? What, do you just want to put her in a dumpster? Yes. Like the original? Damn. Don't. Ashley. You dumb hoe, did you forget to take your allergy meds again? <laughs> I think it's more than allergy. Was this in the original? This part? No, actually. Oh, okay. This, this is, is new. Ashley, you dumb... Why would you run? I came all this way to save you. Did you see the video? One of the videos I posted of, like, the new... Like, one... Like, a news group where the weatherman finally learns that his... His screen is actually a touch screen. Oh yeah, I think I saw that clip once a couple months ago. I just I love like the childlike amazement and they're like in all of their voices they're like just like oh, what you can do this. It 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 feels just so wholesome to me where it's where it's like just so genuine in their voices. It's like no way. You think the people that set it up are watching the news when we're like. Took you long enough. <laughs> we specifically got it for you. Yes. Don't talk to me. Salesman, do you have alcohol? <laughs> I need a drink. Actually, more of a shot. I need a shot. Either whiskey or gun. I don't care which. Something's going in my body to help me end the pain. <laughs> I don't... It can be whichever. Ooh, the Matilda's open. Kill a man. Looking at the fires of, like, the different colors in this game makes me think of the Pose from Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Pose mad. Pose. Pose mad. I have this weird tendency to just pick the pick up as many poses as I can. Oh yeah. I don't know why. I just I just feel like these are all lost souls of. I feel like if they could scream, they would. I want to end their suffering. So I just go and swipe them up. That's why I have about a thousand poses on hand. I've tried exploring the depths um, a bit. Yeah. But the thing is, for me, like, I just can't get myself to, like, just completely... Uh, actually, I'm trying to balance, like, the like a lot of different things in the game. Like, alright, go here, down, then this, then that. But, like, for the depths for me, I'm having a hard time just, like, exploring the game. I spend a whole lot of time at the depths. I just go on, uh, Zonai mining sessions... It's, it's oh like, damn it! Whoops. It's like playing Minecraft, but in Tears of the Kingdom. Speaking of Minecraft, didn't the Cherry Blossom update just come out or something? I think so. You know what? I think that'll actually get me back into playing Minecraft a little bit. Before I... For me, I'm not sure. Before I just don't play it again for another year. Well, for me, it's like, with playing Minecraft and getting back into it, like... I think I just need to start playing with like friends. Yeah, I, think I that's, can't play. I can't play single player. I think that's anymore. the best way, honestly, to play Minecraft is with a small server full of friends and just build stuff on your own. Um, let's see here. I also think that's the best way to play Minecraft. What single? Pl oh, playing with friends. Yeah, just have like a small, yeah. a small server, I'm maximum ten people. I'm not sure. I'm trying to like think. I think it's just like, oh, other friends are building, so I'll build. Yeah. For me, like for me, it's a like a cycle of inspiration where you give each other ideas. Or yeah. Something like that. And also, it's just like, I don't know. Or having neighbors that actually build stuff too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's just having friends around while you play, even if they're even if you're not in a voice call. 
Um, even if, if you're not in a voice call, it's still just really nice. If there was a way for like villagers to build their own structures, I think I would appreciate that a lot more. Yeah. Instead of just them being the kind of useless, mindless NPCs, if they felt like an actual civilization or something. I hope. I hope not buying the body armor is gonna bite me in the ass. I'm sure it is. Just make up for the lack of defense with offense. <laughs> with they can't. My two they can't magnum hurt you. rounds. They can't hurt you if you hurt them first. Oh. Ooh, it's art. It's uh. I'll pay ten thousand for it. It's uh. Spaghetti night. Oh yeah, with Minecraft for me, I'm playing it in like single player. I think it's also just in my head. It's like, okay, I have this idea specifically. Let's do it this way. I start playing, and then I start gathering resources. Then I'm like, okay, now it's like, now this is boring. And yeah, again, it's like I think just having friends. This is also... Just, like, it will just make me, like, keep going. Something I, I call Minecraft anxiety, where I want to build big-ass things, but then, you know, I get overwhelmed. I kind of overwhelm myself of, oh, shit, I don't want to build this, actually. It's all too big and too complicated. <laughs> oh, no, I've made too big of a scope. Though, yeah, speaking of um, the new update, I will be honest... The new with the new update and adding like a new tree and a new block, I'm just like, ooh, what can I do with this? Yeah. Even even though I'm not really playing it, I'm still like getting that same awesome feel of like, oh, I could do so many new things with this. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel with Lego. Also, it's like even though if even though if I'm not gonna build or buy much of the sets, but just seeing all the new pieces and the building techniques they put up, it's all just fascinating. Whoa! Don't Leon fucking suck me. Leon took some shrooms. Get off me! Ooh, that guy is barbecued. I did not use uh, the surrounding area the first time I played RE4. Oops, did you just. Suplex! Like, you finally! Just, like, brute force your way in! Yep. No. Oh, fuck! And. Pop yeah. the weasel. God, okay, that, that was bullshit. That was actual pure bullshit right there. But yeah, you see why I was so scared of that one area? Yeah. <laughs> That's an instant kill. I think that's a little cheap. You're just getting like, I don't know, comboed or Wombo stuck into comboed. a stuck into a death loop where, the second you get up, they just attack you again. You're on the ground prone. Then you get up and they attack you again. I hate that so much. It's like, at least just like have the decency to kill me quickly. Instead of, like having to watch myself suffer. Slowly, as, I, as I'm helpless and I can't do anything. No. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that brownie. Oh, did I kill him already? I guess so. Yeah, mash that A button. Oof. I'm just gonna eat a fish. Yeah, just might as well. Get over here. Whoa, what the what the fuck? I I, I didn't mean that fast. Give us a little bit of time. Oh, I didn't mean I know. Oh, whoops. Here, have that. Ooh. Dude just ragdolled for a second. 
Did we get Holy him? Oh shit, I think I did kill him. Was that it? Holy shit, it was! Ta-da! <laughs> it just took two rifle shots. And then two magnum shots. Whoa! Okay, you're still alive. And you. Take that. Fuck. Take that. Take that. Take that. You wanna celebrate the 4th Damn. of July a month early? Oh, fuck. Sure. Why not? Happy birthday. Um... Trying to remember what this area was last in the original. Well, I like it right now. This <laughs> looks like it does look nice. You, no, I was gonna say it looks like you could drink away your sorrows here, <laughs> maybe several times over. She took the kids. Now all I have is this winery. Yeah, I didn't use that last oh, time. Oh, that's a thing. Leon drinking away an entire barrel. <laughs> it was like Ada walks and like, Leon, what the mm, fuck, fuck happened? It. Don't talk to me. <laughs> she took herself. I what? thought you were dead. Ada, she took herself. Who did? Ashley. <laughs> she took herself. <laughs> she took herself. I couldn't do anything about it. Leon, we need, we need an intervention. <laughs> no, we don't. It's like it's like Leon sitting down in a circle with all the other Resident Evil characters. It's like, <laughs> Leon, we've been worried about you. Shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> Ada is like, first. Leon, we we need you in a mission. You, I need you to fuck my sister to continue the Redfield bloodline. Chris is like, first of all. You're not dating my sister. I don't think, I don't think you know. <laughs> I don't think you know what you're passing up on. And then Ada is like, then you you also you know, chugging an entire barrel of wine. And then uh, there's a uh, Mr. X saying, you you <laughs> even to, Mr. X even Mr. X is like, you've yet to return a book for two years now. Normal people don't do that. <laughs> there is a there is something deeply so wrong Mr. with you, Leon. So Mr. X doesn't talk at all in RE2. So are we saying that he learns on how to speak well, just he, for the intervention? He worked as a librarian. He's got to learn how to communicate. So yeah, this is Even, originally where I thought you would get the Magnum, I, the broken butterfly, but nope. I'm gonna sell on a fucking deal. Even the popcorn salesman is in. He's like, Leon, Why? You, you slammed the door on my foot. I was just trying to sell popcorns. <laughs> Most normal people don't do that. I think, I think you need to see someone. <laughs> Go see a therapist. For my sake, please. And then keep buying. I don't normally. I don't normally get popcorn, but you know what? I think I might do a first and actually get popcorn when we go see Spider Verse with all the friends. I don't well, know. I don't know why I said it like actually, that. Actually, what are your all the friends? What are your hopes for across the Spider Verse? Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of going in completely open because I also I kind of refuse to see any of the trailers. Oh yeah, and actually, one of the reasons why I'm like, okay, yeah, we're seeing Spider-Verse, is that I already actually started to see people make shorts of Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I need to go see the movie before it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having an intervention right now. <laughs> A combat intervention. Smooth, Ada, but not as smooth as your skin right now. What's your what what's your foundation routine? It's Ole. What's your skincare routine? She's lost no matter what. You walk away now. 
You know I can't do that. Maybe I'll live not to. Maybe I'll go out with. Maybe I'll go on a mission with a woman who can. I don't know. Be useful for <laughs> once. Give up on Ashley, and maybe you'll live long enough to see my OnlyFans. <laughs> maybe. She has also learned on how. She has also learned the Batman technique of just disappearing. But well, actually, funny enough, she yeah, she does have a grappling gun too. So, what else does she? What else does she need? Bad ears, utility belt, cape. Shit, Ooh, who who's that one Batwoman with the red hair? I forget her uh, name. Uh, yeah, that's Batwoman. Yeah, I forget. Uh, Shit. Cassandra Kane. Yeah, Cassandra Kane. Yeah, that was it. By far, one of the best designed back characters yeah, of I'll, all time, I'd say. Yeah, I'll be honest. I kind of like it. I like the black and red design. Mm -hmm. It just it, it, it works. works. It just looks so good. Though, sadly enough, we don't really... I don't think we've seen Cassandra Kane, Batwoman a lot. Except for the, sh except for the really bad CW show. Oh, but yeah. But that's CW. But then again, the CW, so... But yeah, seriously, it's CW. It's like, alright, what else can we do? The minute that you... The minute that you say it's a CW show, it's like, it's already bad. I don't know. To me, it feels like a... It's like a corny bad. Or it's like, it's enjoyably... Oh, that's adorable. They tried. I mean, do you remember when they announced that they were going to make a Powerpuff Girls show? They were? Yeah, a live-action Powerpuff Girls. I don't remember that one. Um, Though I do seem to recall Sabrespark making a video on, like, the Powerpuff anime or something. I haven't actually watched that video. I just I just saw the thumbnail, like... Oh, oh yeah, that was that's a right. thing? They did make a Powerpuff Girls oh, anime. That was a thing, okay. And then I just never got around to watching that video. It's like, oh, cool! Alright, next next video. That's a, it's kind of a problem I think I've had with YouTube recently. It was like... I find myself kind of bored watching YouTube recently. I don't know why. I can understand that. I mean, like, my recommended videos, I feel like... it's it. I feel like it might have gotten a little better, but it's still kind of really bad. Yeah. But in, like, I have so many shows on Netflix and Crunchyroll that I want to watch, but I just can't get myself to watch watch them. Because the I'm, like, thinking, but you have all these YouTube videos to keep up with. The only it's thing like, I think I'm really looking forward to again is, uh, oh, shit, Chucky Conroy. Oh, shit. Also, when is he going to release the next episode? Uh, I want more, damn I, it. I'm pretty sure this week or the next week. I hope so. He's, he's done touring with Khan, so that's why he was gone. Oh, actually, how long has it been? A whole month? About, roughly. Damn, are you still squiggling? Still squiggling. Let me, uh... He's become a coral reef. But on land. That'd be the weirdest sensation if you just, like... <laughs> I'll stop talking. What were you saying? What is the great sensation? What was that? Oh, was that okay? That was Leon <laughs> in pain. I thought, I thought something was coming at us or something. What are you? Oh, oh. okay. Something was there. Whoa, you can run. That reminds yeah, me of the, those guys are also not fun. That reminds me of the, the Death Cicada from Men in Black 3. But, you know, bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually. But what would you rather go try to go up against? That thing or this? This thing... 
because the thing for Men in Black is small, you can't really shoot that thing. Oh, it can shoot ginormous needles at you. <laughs> I never um, realized just how gruesome Men in Black Three is because of that little, the little bug just shooting. Oh yeah, it's like because that's just inch needles that's, at that's your just face. an instant kill. Yeah, creature. And you just see corpses litter throughout the movie with, with the five inch needles going through people's heads and just like. Oh yeah, that is kind of gruesome if you think about it. Yeah, okay, I did get everything except for that. Oh hey! I have the stench of bitch. <laughs> the stench of bitches? No, just a bitch. Which one? Singular. Ashley. Ooh, Every Ash. time Ashley fucks up, I, th I think of uh, Timmy Turner's dad going like, <laughs> Dinkleberg. <laughs> Dinkleberg. For me, it's like, Ashley. Did you ever, actually, did you ever watch Fairly Odd Parents? Uh, I think I watched a single episode. It was like the Halloween OVA, and that was it. It was the one where they turned into giant robot pumpkins. What? Fairly Odd Parents. There's some wild shit in there, so I've heard. Though, did you hear about, like, how weird the creator was? Butch Hartman? Yeah. Yeah? Well, he is kind of insane. Though, what doesn't help is that, like... Like, he made a lot of good shows, but after, like... After, I don't After, know. like, a decade or something, he just mostly focused on... Like, making shows with, like, um, revolving around his religion. Mm -hmm. Like, Christian religion. Or that, uh, that one, I guess, Christian Netflix scam that he tried oh, to run. Oh, yeah, that's right. That... Didn't he, like, promise it's like, oh, yeah, this is gonna have actual cartoons and shit? And then it turned out to be just full of those shoddily, shoddily made, like, Christian productions that are always so terrible. <laughs> That it's just kind of, it's somewhere between pathetic and funny. I don't know where to like put it exactly. Speaking of that, did you ever have you ever seen or heard of Bible Man? Oh, I've I've heard of Bible Man. I've never actually seen it. Really? Yeah. It's kind of. I've only seen like maybe one or two episodes because I'm like, all right, scroll through the channels. Well, it's like, it's kind of amazing. Amazing. In what ways? And just... It's kind of stupid. Yeah. But it's the level of stupid where it's, like, kind of amazing. You kind of have to respect it just a tiny bit. Because it's, like, Bible Man has a full-on, like, cape and suit. And mm -hmm. they have, like, Christian lightsabers what? and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, just, just look... Look up Bible Man and just look up a picture of him and you'll kind of see. Okay, I'll have to check this shit out some other time. Although, random question, complete opposite of Bible stuff. What do you think is a funnier name? The, the Thirst Order or the Fist Order? The First Order? The or... Thirst Order. Oh, the Thirst? Or the Fist Order. What do you think is a funnier name? The Thirst Order, I would say. Because you're being... Because Thirst Order, alright, you're being a little bit more specific. But the Fist Order also makes sense, because... But, okay, but Fist could just mean, alright, punch. But for other people, it could just be fisting. The part where General Hux says a speech and all the stormtroopers raise their, their fists up in the air. That part, that's when they become the Fist Order. Come at me. You know how, uh... uh -oh. oh, shit. You know how Disney... On Disney Plus, they have, like, different language dubs for all the different Star Wars movies and everything now? Imagine watching General Hux's speech, but, like, the German dub. Oh, yeah. Imagine watching that, and then you're... 
German granddad also raises his fist when he's done with the speech, and you have to look at him like, Granddad? <laughs> granddad? What is he? What are you doing? Oh, Piggy's still alive. Oh, shiz nuggets. Does that have a face? What the? No, oh. it does not. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Thanks for laying up the head. Pop goes the weasel, Pop okay. Pop goes the weasel. And they all died. What the? What was that? What? Oh, okay, I thought something just leapt down from the top of the tower to go and fight you. Okay, it was just random stuff falling. Never mind, we're, we're all good. Someone's shooting. But who? Here's something, or maybe it's just Leon. I do not know. It sounds like someone is swimming through spaghetti. <laughs> oh! Whoa, okay. Exterminator is here. Whoa. Oh, that. Okay, that's just. Oh. Thanks for doing that, asshole. Ah, he's getting up. And stay down. Bitch. All right, doors. Doors. It's doors, I say. Oh, what? You got something to say about it? Can you even? Can you shoot them through that or? Oh, I guess yep. you can. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Paint the door <laughs> red. Oh. Did you get oh, both? please tell me I killed... No, I did not! Whoa, that is close. Where the fuck was you Where was you going? Oh, it's a trap. Oh, oh lordy. What are we doing? Street Fighter f 6 combos? Well, that, that is a funny thing I like about Street Fighter 6. So you can... You can have, like, text messages with the different characters. And they all don't like... They all just, like... I don't know. You can learn their techniques. You can just have conversations with them. I really want to get Street Fighter Six for sure. It does. It I does want. Look I like. Fun, I yeah. want that to actually be like the actual first fighting game that I get into. Mm -hmm. But right now the problem is, is like I have so many other games I'm playing right now. I don't need more. <laughs> I I do like in the text message system where like if you talk to Cammy her. The profile pic is a little yellow cat with her red beret on it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's a cute little squish. Now, actually, I'm I do want to ask. It. I do want to ask you, what do you like more? And be and think of this more of like on an artistic, no, no, just from like a design. Yeah, from a design like point. Do you like her old design, which is just the classic, the green or the blue? Yeah. Hmm. Because if I'm being honest, I kind of like the, like, British punk look more. Yeah, I kind of like the blue one. I kind of like it. That one, it's like comparing a, an A to an S to me. Both. Both are good. Yeah, both are great, but. Yeah, I just like the newer uh, six look for Cammy a lot more. Maybe if they could give her the beret again. Because that, that part, I think, still works, but... Yeah, I think... I think... Hi! Woo! Oh, that's a... OG Cami Design fan. No. Does not like her opinions. Oh, well, fuck you. This is the internet. I don't have to agree with your opinions. Every single political commentator in a nutshell. What? We were just talking about Street Fighter. Why'd you jump into politics? Because that's basically the gist of it. It's like, oh, I don't have to agree with your ideas. You just have to believe mine. I think that just applies to almost anything online in yeah, general. Yeah, actually. Although I actually do remember uh, one Street Fighter Six clip of someone talking to Chun-Li just casually in the open. 
and then someone asked like or she or she asked like what do you think of my legs and then one of the responses <laughs> what? Like, I think the two answers you could give are like I think they're oppressive or I think they're thick <laughs> wait like wait is this actual in game I'm pretty sure yeah and then someone responded with thick but <laughs> it's... they made the mistake it was not the CC it was the CK and then Shun Li gets offended <laughs> she's like <laughs> excuse me these are like my signature speciality and you just come in here calling them thick it's like, no, wait, there's a misunderstanding. Wait, no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean the one with the two C's, maybe <laughs> even three. Have you ever seen, um, how do you, one of these, copy, I, I don't think it's like a copy pasta, but it's basically, it's mostly seen with, um, Whoa. hi, but it's mostly like, seen with like characters from portal where they're portal? just talking where they're just discussing like wait what what does thick mean with two c's oh okay i think i saw that for the first time with the oh you fuck it was a what was it called oh satina with her two parents it was just like dave the computer guy and then the devil who's this ginormous Dragon demon. Oh, that yeah. that that yeah that old. Apparently, they're uh, they're now making like a studio and working on it full time or something. Oh, really? I think so. I've been wondering where uh like what happened to it because uh, like I think they made an up an update video like a month ago. Oh, really? I think so. Because honestly, like I I watched the pilot. And yeah, honestly, that, that was great. Some, yeah, that was some pretty nice potential. I wanted to see more of it. you know what we're gonna cut yeah we're probably cut, we're, to... we're reaching the end of this episode and not to mention we're about to get to another big part i was gonna say not as not as bad as the last one but i was gonna say maybe we should have stopped at that first save point we were at a while ago but yeah. then we just kept going so i was like well i guess not and you're gonna have to undo all the doors again just to all oh. Yep. oh don't worry it's fine no, just that the fact you have to like undo the doors to go back. What? Well, what do you expect? It's a puzzle. Okay, now I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Well, I'd expect the puzzle to be, you know, solved after you solved it. It's not like in Tears of the Kingdom where you get to the statue at the end of the shrine and then the Rauru and Sonya statues are like, Welp. Go the fuck back, Link. We're not sending you... We're not going to teleport you outside. You got to go all the way back on your own. Okay, so I guess I'll have to... Yeah, so... Okay. Oh, you got two little eye holes. That's cute. Fuck. I'm stuck. Way to stick it to him, Leon. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. On a, on a completely other note, did you see the, the thumbnail for the latest Professor Lando video? I have not actually. It was a, food ma fast food mascots smasher pass <laughs> list. <laughs> on the thumbnail, there was a, the Wendy's and the the green M and M, just <laughs> looking real Top seductive. Top tier. Woo! Hi. Would you smash the green M&M? &M? Um... I actually don't fuck. You don't fuck. I actually don't know. I I just don't see it. Just... What do people see in that green M&M? &M? I want... Fuck! If aliens exist, I want them to uh, dissect Cucker Tarlson's brain. <laughs> what do you see in that green M&M? &M? Why? Why the green one? Why not the brown one? The yellow one? Oh, maybe... Fuck! Maybe he is a racist. 
He only likes green people, not brown people. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't. Oh, Jesus. Who's shooting? Oh, all the way at the end over there. Can you even reach him? Do I? No, I don't. Oh, wait. No, I do. Come on. Reload faster, Leon. I can't. I don't have the upgrade yet. Oh, that's an upgrade? Yeah. Oh. Or, well, upgrading. Upgrading? Upgrading. Alright. Hi. Bye. This eSports, you can hire me for quick scoping. Shit, I had a funny thought that I wanted to ask, and now I forgot it. Oh yeah, did you want to mention, like, Twitch? What about Twitch? Just, like, it's a just a hot topic. What a laughing stock it is right yeah. now? Yeah. Like, honestly, at this point... I think... At this rate, Twitch might be the next Blockbuster or Skype. And they're uh, gonna just... What about... Would you add Tumblr to that list? Oh, maybe. I think Tumblr had more like a gradual downfall. Or it was like kind of... I don't know. It's not seen as the same way. Really? I don't know. I, I consider Tumblr's downfall a bit differently. I mean, there's they still exist, so... Yeah. It's significantly downscaled, but they still exist on their own. Kind of. They somehow survived the whole banning porn Whereas, thing. Whereas, uh, a Twitch right now was going to be the next Blockbuster or Skype. And they're going to completely drop the 10-year lead that they had in their respective industries. Yeah, it's just, Honestly, at this point, it's, it's probably corporate greed for them making these decisions that are just absolutely terrible. But it's like... Are they trying to just destroy Twitch? I'm wondering. Like, were, were like they, they secretly... need like they need a reason where it's like, eh, we don't we don't care about Twitch anymore, just get rid of it. I, I, destroy I have, it. I have to wonder, like, were they infiltrated by like YouTube employees and they're just trying to ruin Twitch from the inside out? I mean, I wouldn't say it was like YouTube employees mm -hmm. ruin. At this point, it. it's it's so bad that I wouldn't even be surprised if that was the case. Like, hell, they actually just, um, uh, Charlie just made a video on it where it's like, uh, Twitch tweeted that it's like, okay, yeah, n you know what? The changes that we were make, yeah, forget about it. We s we're scrap scrapping those. But the thing is, their guidelines haven't changed at all. Like, if you go to their guidelines and all that stuff, it's like, the plan's still up. Like, Just like they aren't actually going to... Fuck! They're not gonna fuck, yeah. Like, they're not actually gonna cha change things. I, I, I feel like Twitch is, uh... A Kendall Ozzel from the Galactic Empire, where... Fuck! People, people uh, like, fans have theorized recently that Admiral Ozzel was so incompetent that he might actually be, like, a rebel spy <laughs> planted to infiltrate the Empire from the inside out. That would be kind of amazing. That's what I think it... Uh, that's what I, be, I think is, like, going on at Twitch. It's so horrendous. They must have been infiltrated by someone who's, like, purposely trying to run him into the ground. That's the only way they can be this incompetent. Yeah, it's like, and not to mention, they're making horrible decisions af one after another. It's like... It's a whole Gatlin gun of just bad ideas. And they keep shooting themselves in the foot. Like, I really do think it's like... Because they're owned, like... Because Twitch is owned by Amazon. So yeah. it's like... Does, do they actually just don't care about Twitch and they just want to get rid of it? 
I gotta wonder, does like Amazon pay them enough where the executives could just walk away from it all? Just like run the site into the ground but still end up with a shitload of money. Alright. Open for traffic. Conspiracy theory. Let's get our Alex Jones caps on. Just yeah, all this seeing all this news makes me glad I never watch Twitch in the first place. Cause I don't actually like keep like I I will watch Twitch streams at times, but it's like it's not my primary source of entertainment. I find like for me, it, cause it's like all right, you gotta like keep up. Like all right, who's streaming? Are you in the mood to watch some stream? For me, it's like yeah, I'll just watch the VOD. It feels a little more convenient. Yeah. I'm having an old man yells at, yells at Cloud moment because uh, I, I really don't get why people watch streams. I thought the whole reason we watch video on demand was so that, you know, you didn't have to pop in at a certain time to watch a thing. I don't want to have to stop everything just to watch Arthur at 3.30 <laughs> on PBS every day. I could just go on YouTube and just watch it whenever the fuck I want. I mean, I guess it's still kind of nice to, like, watch the like watch someone play a game live. Like, I don't understand the whole, it's like, alright, you type in something into the chat. It's like, because there's so much chat going on, it's like, you're gonna be... You're not gonna, like, maybe the streamer will see it, but it's like, I personally don't see it. But just watching something live is kind of nice at times. Especially if you're watching, say, the Game Awards. Mm -hmm. Like, you're watching one of your favorite streamers, and they're watching the Game Awards okay, with you. Well, you I can so kind of see, like, their reaction. It's kind of cool. Okay, but I also don't watch game, like, award shows either, so... Or, or let's say, uh, play Sony, uh, PlayStation Showcase, or... I barely even watch those Or either. Nintendo Direct. I barely watch that either. <laughs> Don't judge okay, me. Okay, Ashley, this did my... you not know? <laughs> don't don't judge me, Ashley. This is my wanking arm. <laughs> it's been a very stressful couple of days. My veins are burging out of my arms. It has been blue balling me. All I have left is my arm. Do you know how fucking hot red sweaters are? <laughs> You'll never understand my specific tastes. Actually, thinking about that, do you think someone's made a virgin killer sweater for mod? Like a mod for that? Yeah. There's gotta be at least one person who at least thought about it. And that's where we're ending it. Yeah, that was the, one of the wackest way to end an episode. Well... Shiza. Shiza. Like the video if you if you like this mess, subscribe the the red button because the red sweaters because we talked about it. Red sweaters. Red sweaters. <laughs>